2015 Neighbor University softball team season was certainly memorable, yet its postseason dreams hinged on earning an at-large bid in the NCAA regional. They're led by Hannah Sendel and her 410 batting average of the year. Emory and the Eagles will open regional play against LaGrange, USA South Athletic, not one of the champions. The other teams in that regional include Barry and Avery. Yeah. And they got it. The team loaded up early on Thursday morning to head south to Atlanta, where it would make its second NCAA regional appearance in program history. Averett, which won the USA South Conference's regular season championship and was at one time ranked as high as 13th in the country in the national poll, had prepared all season for this moment. The Cougars had beaten a nationally ranked team, they set program records including total wins in a season, Getting to the NCAA Regional and getting a victory was the next step. Avery took on Barry College to open play at the Atlanta Regional, hosted by Emory University. Aver took a one to nothing lead in the second inning on Ryan Scarce's RBI double. Although Barry came back to tie it up in the bottom half of the inning, Aver went ahead in the sixth inning. Mary Beth Smith's RBI triple put the Cougars in front, and Jesse Cruz's RBI double and Emily Dunford's sacrifice fly gave Aver plenty of insurance runs as the Cougars held on for a four to one win and their first NCAA regional victory in the program's history. That set up a meeting with Emory the next day. Avert went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the seventh-ranked Eagles through the first six innings. Then Emory got the break that both teams had been searching for. Emory managed to load the bases with one out. Avert then got a force out at home on a ground ball back to the pitcher. However, the Cougars couldn't get out of the jam completely as an infield single allowed the eventual game-winning run to score, and Emory escaped with a 1-0 victory. That loss meant Averitt would play an elimination game a few hours later. Facing Barry again, Averitt found itself trailing 1-0 after the Vikings scored on a sacrifice fly in the second inning. The Cougars then tied the game in the fourth inning on Ryan Scarce's RBI single. Yet this time, Barry would eventually get the upper hand by scoring a go-ahead run in the fifth inning and another run in the seventh inning to end Averitt's magical season. Although the Cougars were disappointed, they had plenty to be proud of. For the seniors, it was a memorable way to end their careers. For the rest of the team, the experience will be valuable moving forward. The memories will last forever for the Cougars, according to head coach Bryn Taylor. Being here is an experience for the girls, and I think they had a great experience. We played great ball and I think we had fun. And yes, we don't like the two losses, but it's the experience and the memories that they're gonna have. Perhaps senior Emily Dunford best summed up the season. We did things that other people haven't done before for Avery softball, and that's just been a great accomplishment itself, just winning the regular season, you know, becoming nationally ranked, those are just awesome accomplishments.